Hassan was due to feature for KCCFC this season, which had earlier signed him, but his former club in Turkey insists he has issues to solve. His absence in the FUFA Super League is a big concern, whereby the national coach Bobby Wilson is wild of his form ahead of the World Cup qualifiers. FUFA spokesman Rogers Molindo explains that the players ITC remain in the hands of the judge from US selected by FIFA. Saying that he mysteriously disappeared from the club of Kayseri, ignored the official club invitations, and therefore his contract got terminated. While the Cranes coach Bobby Winston is not happy with a World Cup qualification format, which requires a national team to go through two stages. I wasn't comfortable with the format for the, the Cup of Nations either, where you played a prelim and you played a final round. Uh, I, I believe that quite a lot of the best teams in the continent were not at that tournament, just because of the luck of the draw. Commenting on media allegations that football federations of Rwanda and Kenya football federations are interested in, in giving him a job, Bobby advised them to go proper channels since he's still serving his contract for far. For the coming World Cup qualifiers against Liberia, Angola and Senegal, Bob is not amused by the few build-up games played by the national team, but called for players' commitment. In another development, Fuzz offered a chance to referees who missed a Cooper test on 25th of January, including Fred Mufta, Brian Subuga, Vera Kamleg and number to 30, to undergo a test on 23rd of this month. While for the 23 who failed the test, will be back to Namboli for another test on the 9th of March 2013. James Wanja, Kampala.